right side with Ryder and Billy Joe Saunders for Edgar? Uh, I think Billy Joe Saunders isn't going to be ready this side of the year for uh, Edgar Belanga, but I think he would be a great fight. You know, he's a big name. Um, John Ryder's a very tough fight. You saw him go 12 with uh, um, Canelo Alvarez. Um, so I think that there's there's loads of fights that can be made. Loads of fights that could be made. Um, you know, you got Caleb Plant. You got obviously Benavidez, you got Morel, you got Charlie, you got loads of super middleweights. That's the other side of the street, if that's what you want to call it. But we don't care, really. We're doing our own thing. And, you know, I know that the zone will be very keen on Mungia against Belanga. Mungia does great numbers. So does Edgar. So it's just a tremendous fight. Edgar, do you feel those two fights, Saunders and Ryder, are tough for you? Say it again. Do you feel those two fights, Saunders and Ryder, are tough for you? Um, they're great fighters, you know what I'm saying? So I know, and, and I know for a fact, like, at that level, right, they're going to come to fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like the, the Triple G is going to stay, you know, they're going to come to fight, you know, the Riders, they're going to come to fight. You know, you see him fight 12 rounds with Canelo, and that's, that's the biggest guy at 168 right now. Um, Mungia is another guy, you know, he just had a tremendous fight with my, with my, with my brother, Sergey. Um, but right now, for real, for real, I just, I just feel like the biggest fight right now is Mungia. You know, just for the simple fact that he's Mexican, he's young, he's my age. You know, we both do numbers. Um, and I know for a fact we could do a crazy number out here in, in, in New York at the Garden. So, you know, I got to, you know, we sit down with Keith Conley, my dad, and the boss man here, and, and, you know, we just make it happen. I feel like right now, you know, um, I'm... I'm upset, you know, people are like, yo, no, why, why are you upset? I'm like, I know I, I should have got him out of there. But I'm happy because now I know where I left off, you know, and, you know, with the aggressive, that 12th round was amazing, and I know that's who I am. Like, him right there, like, that guy is me. That's me. Let your fucking hands go, you know, push the fight, kill, you know, and obviously you've seen the results of that. You know, I almost got him out of there, so, you know, from right there, we're going to take off. Eddie and Edgar. Um, Oscar De La Hoya has tweeted, Lonesome Eddie, you couldn't deliver Edgar Belanga to Canelo and now you want to throw Munguia's name out there. Good luck with that. Does that worry you? I know you say well, that I mean, DAZN like that well, fight, but... <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya works for DAZN. So he's a fucking complete idiot, to be honest with you, because his job is to put on good fights for DAZN. And he hasn't really done that with Jaime Munguia, has he? I mean, it's probably the worst managed career I've ever seen in the history of boxing, Jaime Munguia. His opponent list has been awful, other than Derevchenko recently, who is, I know he's your friend, but he's also a faded fighter. So what I'll do with Oscar De La Hoya is I'll speak to his bosses and I'll come back to him. Oscar got to, you know, he got to shut his mouth, man. You know, this is the best in the business. People don't understand, like, Eddie came from the UK. From the UK, he came from another side of the fucking world and came to the US and took over. You know what I'm saying? And he's taking it over so rapidly. So, you know... De La Hoya is a crazy guy, man. He talks one day he's, he's he's your friend, the next day he wanna talk shit about you. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously you seen what happened with Canelo. Yeah, we was talking Canelo, but you seen what happened with Canelo. He signed a, a three fight deal with PBC, so you know he's on a, on on another network now. You know, so now it's like, all right, you know what the fuck we gonna do? So we got, you know, we got guys like Mogia, guys like 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 Golovkin, guys like John Ryder that we can make happen quickly. Yeah, man, like. Come on, I had, to, I had to sit down with him right before, you know what I'm saying, I signed with, uh, with, with Eddie. You know, he's a guy, he's just hi, 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 Twitter finger, man. You know, he just want to just type with his ass off. So just chill, man, relax. Huh? Oh, of course, man. Like, the, the love that, that you guys gave me, you know, at fight week, you know, the amount of attention, um, the buildup for this fight was amazing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to back my promoter up, you know, whether, you know, who likes it or not, this is the guy, you know, and uh, we're definitely going to make something happen big after this fight. You know, I'm definitely, I left the mark, you know, 12th round from there on, bro. I swear to God, man, as on my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I'm up from 12th round, I'm picking up from that round and it's game time. Like, these guys are going to be in trouble for sure. Edgar, back here. Um, was Jason Quigley the, the best opponent you've faced so far? Nah. Where does he rank? Um... I feel like my toughest fight was Angulo because of the way he fought. You know, he's a tough fighter. He came forward, took a good punch. But, uh, you know, he just had a specific game plan, you know, and I was just, you know, to move around 
You know, he was real fit to do moving around. But, um, you know, I take my hat off to him. He's a great fighter. You know, uh, he's stuck in there, especially in that 12th round. He got hit with some fucking big shots. You know, and I, I broke his nose with a jab. I broke his, his audible bone with a jab. So, you know, I'm just happy, you know, that uh, I could leave off from, from the 12th round and we could just get back in the gym in a week, man, and just and just grind. And one more, a couple, just, couple more questions, guys. Eddie, just, uh, I wanted to ask as well, what do you think of this Lonesome Eddie hashtag? It's all right. I, I, listen, the fact that the entire week Oscar de la Hoya has been talking about me, it's great. Don't forget, my following is probably 80% English. So if Oscar de la Hoya can help my profile over here, it's fantastic. I just hope that, um, I hope he's going to be okay.